This is Volleyball DNA. First of all, can I just stress that this was probably the easiest interview to book. Lahat <laughs> yes, <laughs> 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 I guess. Hindi. Look, look. I, I just want to say that. I just want to start off by saying that. Because Mela, <laughs> di ba? Al- alam mo yan. You run your own channel, and you know that you have to book guests, yeah. di ba? At hindi naman lahat ng tao. At yung schedule mo, magkakatugma yan. It's not always gonna be easy na you get this guest and then the person is gonna say yes. Diba? Kasi may kanya ka na tayong buhay eh. But I just wanna stress that with Mela, it was so easy and I'm so thankful to have a friend like Mela who's willing to get on the show like despite her busy, busy schedule. So Mela, thank you so much for being here on Volleyball DNA. Of course. Actually, nitay ko lang kasi talaga na ma-invite ako dito. I'm a big fan of Volleyball DNA. Sabi ko, bakit hindi nila ako ini-invite? <laughs> uy, uy. <laughs> joke na. Of course, all-out support. Kayo naman. <laughs> in, in, in the words of our uh, good friend, Janina Chan, sabi niya, it's it's uh, it's really tulungan in the self-produced yeah. world of ours. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Hindi, ano, Mela, um, of course, at some point in time, Denden and I really wanted to have you on the show. But uh, <laughs> yun, yun nga, we know you're also busy doing so many things. Yeah. And uh, it just so happened na recently you were in the news, you were in the headlines because you attained your MA, your master's degree. <laughs> yeah. So I want to say congratulations for Thank achieving you. that. Alam mo, hindi biru yun na, kasi, you know, with somebody as busy as you, Diba? You're a professional volleyball player. You're a host. You do so many things. You're always on the go. So for you to achieve your MA, um, h- how do you feel about that? And um, it-, it took a while because 2015 can start. Yeah. You got it recently. Tell us about the journey to pursue your master's degree. Um, well, to start off, yung pag-start kasi ng journey, it's just easy because I finished my studies, my undergrad, um, in four years. So, in order for me to, like, uh, be able to play my last year in the UAP, um, kailangan ko agad mag-master. So, that was the easy part, yung pag-start niya talaga. Um, pero, ayun, nung, nung itutuloy ko na, right after I finished my UAP playing year, dun na ako medyo nag-struggle because, um, wala, eh, parang ambilis ako tinamaan ng quarter-life crisis. Like, mm-hmm. Um, I didn't know what I wanted to do during that time. Parang ang dami kong gustong subukan. Pero I have always set my eyes na gusto ko matapos. Gusto ko makuha yung MA degree. So there was a point um, during this journey na mag-work muna kaya ako. Stop ko muna kaya yung MA. And then nung nag-stop naman ako, parang gusto ko ulit ituloy. Um, yung feeling kasi siguro um, some of the student athletes can also relate to me na ang pangit sa feeling kapag hindi mo nagagawa yung usual mong ginagawa. Like for me, I've been a student athlete since I was in high school. So parang yung, yung katawan ko, yung sarili ko, I was set um, to doing so many things na kapag hindi yun yung ginagawa ko, pag volleyball lang, like club volleyball lang during that time, parang may kulang talaga. Parang akong lalagnatin feeling so, gusto ko, marami akong ginagawa. I don't know if that makes sense, pero um, I think that also pushed me to um, finish my MA kasi, yun nga, I've always set my eyes na gusto ko siyang makuha. And then, wala, the rest just followed na kailangan lagpasan ko to para makuha ko talaga yung gusto ko. So, this is a master's degree in marketing communication. Yes. All right, I want to ask you, Mela, Growing up, ano ba yung pinangarap mo? As in, what, what was your your dream job? And like, let's say that post volleyball career, what do you see yourself engaging in? Well, nung bata ako ang lain ng gusto ko. Para gusto ko na sa like medical field. Siguro growing up as the bunso in our family, I always wanted ko ano yung gusto na ate ko. So gaya gaya yung mga bunso. Pero uh, beyond siguro. Um, nung nag-college na. Kasi I was supposed to take up med tech eh. Kaso, um, ang hirap talaga makapasok sa program ng USC ng med tech. Tapos yung 
um, schedule pa niya is whole day. So, it will affect the training time. So, um, I was academic placement in my course, which is communication arts. Pero during that time, I really couldn't picture myself like um, speaking in public, ganyan. Kasi dati na high school, parang prayer leader lang. Parang kailangan 10 months ko siya paghandaan. <laughs> like, kung magsasalita in public. So, I didn't know how I became ganitong um, ka-extrovert. Late, late lang siya lumabas. Pero yun, dati gusto ko sa medical field. But now, I, I really, like, apart from, um, I don't know, broadcasting or hosting, I really am passionate about marketing. Like, the moment I started being exposed to it, especially um, when volleyball was growing, sobrang swerte namin na kami inabutan that time. So, um, siguro even when... Um, Nasa school pa ako at the same time, na-experience ko din yung mga aspects in marketing because kami mismo were used as, uh, you know, a part of a marketing campaign ng ibang mga brands. So, I really got super interested and passionate about it. Yeah. Okay. So, a job in marketing, post-volleyball career, that that's a, that's a possibility. That's something you're eyeing. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Pero I, I think I, I do agree that um, because... You, and you've already been doing it. You've already been hosting on TV. I, I think that's also an option for you, diba? So, <laughs> and dami kasi, and dami like, ako, honestly, I'm very insecure when it comes to that because I know there's a lot of, you know, hosts na talagang fit for the job. So, wala, hindi ko alam. Uy, ang tagal-tagal mo nang ginagawa. I mean, you know, during this pandemic. Legit ba yun? <laughs> Legit ba yun? Legit. Legit. <laughs> okay, I mean, I mean you, you've been doing these things. I mean, diba, nung nag-pandemic, and dami nang gumawa ng sarili ng shows, self-produced. Yeah. But you were doing it way before yeah. the pandemic even happened. So, mm-hmm. I mean, kaya, you, you were actually one of the inspirations for us to, to start this YouTube Aww. channel. Because, wow. you know, we saw you doing it already. So, mm-hmm. come on, Mela. Yeah, actually, to me kasi. Like, I mean, to me kasi, anong tunay is like, paano ba? I feel... I look at myself like the resident Chikadora, ako ba yun? Parang host ba yun? Or Chikadora ba yun? <laughs> so parang when it comes to like legit hosting, gusto ko pa siyang like matutunan. So Ton, if you have any tips for me. <laughs> I, I think, yeah, sure. But I mean, I'm sure you can pick it up naturally. It, 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 it's, I, I, think it's, I think it's in you. <laughs> Mela, um, let's talk about um, perhaps the biggest development. In, in Philippine volleyball, the establishment of the new NSA. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is something that people in the volleyball world and people on the outside looking in, the fans have been, you know, talking about, dreaming about for so many years. Yeah. And now it's here. There is one Philippine NSA and there's even an athletes commission. Mm-hmm. Are, are you, because I, I don't know the latest developments as of this interview, are you also part of the Athletes Commission as, as of right now? Uh, no, no. Okay. Uh, pero, yeah, I've heard about the, the, these yeah. developments and I feel very happy because in the past, ayun nga eh, uh, whether we admit it or not, it actually creates a division. Parang kami, kanyang mga players. Yeah. Kahit ano eh, kahit unintentional na you take sides, sometimes your coach is part of this, the other, ganyan. So parang at some point, uh, talaga may division. Pero siguro hindi natin siya ganun napapansin. Not until we have international tor- tournaments na doon talaga lawalabas yung mga, um, yung, yung, doon nag-reflect yung mga pagkukulang ng, um, like ng volleyball in general. Kasi, uh, nahihirapan sa mga pag-schedule ng ganito, um, talagang uh, may mga nag argue for ganito. So, now that we have um, one governing body, I think the first thing na ma-achieve natin talaga is unity because um, andun na eh, upfront pa lang na-achieve na natin eh, the moment na may nabuo na isa lang, andun na agad yung unity. So, what more, di ba, as we go along? And yun nga, um, yung meron tayong sariling representation ng mga athletes, I think um, it's good because the voices ng athletes, hindi lang, hindi lang one-sided yung mangyayari. Parang even from us, even the sentiments of the whole like community, even the fans, I'm sure it will also be considered as we move forward. So, uh, um, I, I remember before when I was covering the PVL, you were, you were playing in the PSL, right? Yeah. Yeah, so like... 
from from my perspective, parang uy, parang okay din yung mga teams sa PSL. So now that it's just you know one league, yeah. uh, like how how do you feel about that? Na you know the the, the best players, the best teams, they're now all in just one league. Hmm. Actually, it's super exciting um, because to me as you know, a player, I don't really mind kung sino yung kalaban namin, sino yung team, kung galing ba saan or what. Pero me, as a volleyball fan myself, sobrang nakatuwa na yung mga, kunyari, if I were a fan, yung mga idol ko dati na hindi na naglalaban, na gusto kong, gustong gusto kong napapanood sila maglaban. Well, honestly, yung inaabang na lahat, syempre yung mga may rivalries, di ba? So me, as a volleyball fan, gusto ko yun talaga makita. So before, it wasn't possible because you know, these teams are playing in different leagues. But now, magharap na ulit sila. And honestly, kasi rivalries really bring out the best games na the fans enjoy. So, mm. ako, I feel like um, it's a breath of fresh air for everyone na lahat, wala na, hindi mo na kailangan maglipat ng channel. Isang, <laughs> isang ano na lang, di ba? Para may enjoy mo na yung, and makikita mo na lahat na gusto mong makita in mm. one league. So, yeah. All right. You mentioned rivalries. Let's go back to your UAP career. Uh, you you played five years for yeah. the UAP. It, it was a very um, how 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 do I say this? Um, Roller coaster. <laughs> yeah, be, I mean, for one re- one reason, every year, Mela, you had five different captains yeah. <laughs> in the in the UST team. I mean, you had Dimokolangan, Caballejo, Lantin, Lastimosa, and then during your last year, EJ Laura came in, very young was the team captain. You played for two different coaches, Coach Oji Mamon and Coach Kung Fu Reyes in your last year. Man, um, well, I'll start off by, for you, ano yung rivalry game ng, ng UST? Like, FEU obviously, like UST, FEU. But like, were there other teams also, Mela, na, you know, you look up to playing against during your time in the UAP? Um, during my time kasi, uh, as much as I wanted to be rivals with the bigger teams, lagi talaga kami talo. So I wouldn't consider it as a rivalry. Like, La Salle and Ateneo, for some reason, would, you know, sometimes we beat them, um, upsets, ganyan. But for some reason, talagang, um, ang bilis na kami matalo. <laughs> Pero, um, yeah, siguro to me, it was FEU. And Adamson, yung lagi kong inaabangan na game kasi, alam mo yun, hindi mo alam kung uh, ganong kahaba yung game, hindi mo alam what to expect, ganyan. So parang ikaw, you, you, you wanna, you know, get on the court and just bring in your best shot para maging exciting yung game. So ako, I always look, tsaka may mga ano eh, may mga extra Taunting on the side, kamag, kamag FEU tsaka Adamson. Kasi like, the personality of the players, ganun. Parang, mas confident kami pag kami-kami yung nagaharap. Yeah. Refresh my memory, Mela. Isa ka ba doon sa mga nagtotaunt? Or, huh? or trash talk? Kasi parang wala akong maalala eh. Parang normally mabait ka naman. Like, mabait. Marami na. <laughs> um, siguro ano, parang... Parang lang. Parang many <laughs> times. <laughs> Hindi pala sure. And I mean, saan, talagang kapag Adamson F.E., feel ko nakikarried away ako. Kasi masaya sila kalaro. Like, hmm. um, sila did very passionate when they score. Talaga nagre-react sila. Hmm. Siyempre, tayo din. Dapat gano'n. <laughs> Are there any, um like, could you share some particular stories that, you know, you and your teammates always go back to na... Pag naalala mo yon parang wow that was that was our UAP experience are are, are there any um ano ba? <laughs> ah siguro ako kasi yung memorable game for me was season 75 opening okay. game against La Salle so okay. that was December 3 2012 wow naalala mo pa yung date ah oo kasi ano yan may background story yan okay ano yan Diba, lasal yung kalaban namin. So, parang doon umikot kasi first interaction namin ni Kim bago yung game na yon Kaya memorable talaga yung game sa akin. Pero apart from that, kasi that was the game that um, I didn't know I was gonna start. Kasi I have a lot of seniors. Diba and you, ate, Maru, and you were, kaya, you were just year. a sophomore. That yeah. Time. So, to me kasi, entering UST, they were a powerhouse before I entered. 
<laughs> there talagang like I look up to my seniors so much because you know everyone knows how big of a fan ako ng UST. So mm. to me, I was like, ah, siguro maglalaro ako, magi starter ako mga fourth year college ganyan. Mm. So during that game, hindi ko alam na ako yung gagamitin. Tapos that game, it was parang the first time my my dad was gonna watch me play kasi nasa state siya um, he was doing chemotherapy there and then he went home to watch the opening game so that was me- very memorable for me kasi yun nga hindi ko alam na ako yung gagamitin so nung ginamit ako sabi ko siya na man ba daming tao tapos um ayun parang Sobra immature ko kasi. So, as a fan tard, I was like, oh my gosh, paano ko lulusot kay gumabaw, di ba? Best blocker siya. Ganun yung tumatakbo sa isip ko. Like, as a fan, as a fan girl na napunta sa UAP na, oh my gosh, pinasok ako. Ganun. Kasi when I was in first year, hindi naman ako nakalaro sa mga big games eh. Tapos that game, my God, opening. Tapos sabi ko, natalo, natalo nila kami nung uni games na five sets din. So, that game, it was five sets, pero kami naman yung nanalo. So, wow. very memorable siya sa akin. Yeah. So, paano mo naman pinalusot yung bola kay Michelle? <laughs> In-swipe kong ganon. <laughs> pero kasi, may memory kasi, sobrang ano to, uh, matandain kasi ako. So, like, yeah, even yeah, those yeah small things. Uh-huh. Ewan ko ba siya tumatak sa akin? Pero, I remember, we had a play na triple block yung Lasal. Tapos sa akin si Net. So, parang in my mind, nag-slow. Uh-huh. Oh my God! Saan ko dadalain? Kasi may tatlong malalaking kamay. Oh my God! Saan? So, ginanong ko talaga. So, nakapoint ko. <laughs> Pero, ganun talaga yun yung isip ko that time. Wild. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Wala ka naman sinabi sa kanila after mo makapoint. Wala naman. I was like, God. <laughs> <laughs> Grabe yung may mga animations. <laughs> Yun na imagine ko nga eh. A, a wall of lady spikers. Yeah. Tapos gumabaw pa yung isa. <laughs> Oo, ang lalaki talaga nila. I don't know kasi kung makarelate yung mga tao. Pero hmm. isa rin yung sa kagandahan na the, the sport have grown here in the Philippines. Even the younger players are so matured na. So when they come... Uh, in the UAAP, mas matured na sila. Pero for me, I was like, oh my God, sa barangay lang ako naglalaro. Oh my God, si Gumabo <laughs> yung magbablock sa akin sa ako dadala. Ganun talaga. So, Ang kulit. <laughs> okay. Uh, I, I, I'm super happy about this um, development uh, because I'm talking to you right now and you played for him. Coach Oji Mamon mm-hmm. is now the head coach of the F- Philippine Women's National Team. Um, I remember talking to Coach Oji for the first time. Na kwento niya na yun nga, he played five years for USD, was a two-time champion. And then I'm looking at my notes here. Um, naging head coach na pala siya ng national team nung SEA Games. And his mm-hmm. assistant was Coach Shaq De Los Santos mm-hmm. back in 2003. Sure about, I'm not sure about the rest of the coaching staff. But yeah, I remember him uh, telling us na he was able to handle the national team. That's... Yeah how he got to coach sila Ate Ging Balse. Ah, yeah, yeah, kasi hindi ko inabutan si Ate Ging eh, pero nag-guest player siya sa amin. So, syempre, yeah. along the way, nakikwento na, yeah. oh, that is a national team. Ito yung mga, yeah. So, yeah. Tapos, ang tagal na rin pala niya nag-coach. Like, mm-hmm. 1995, he was taken in already by Coach Emil Lontok. Mm-hmm. I mean, the legend, em- yeah. Emil, Emil Lontok, di ba? So, like, <laughs> He he's um he's still one of the younger coaches, but pero alam mo yon like 1995 was was a long time was a while back. So <laughs> the year I was born, di ba? That's a long time ago. How do you feel, Mela? Na alam mo yon like you played for him for four years in the UAP, mm-hmm. and now he's the head coach of the Philippine women's national team. Coach Oz. Oh, let me let me tell you a story, yeah. Because when okay. we got into UST. Mm. Uh, doon yung transition ng coaches eh. So, from Coach Shaq, Coach Oji na. Mm, And yeah. Coach Oji had this reputation in men's volleyball na he's so strict. He's a perfectionist. So, kami, um, kasi during that year, he was handling the men's. And then, first time for sa, sa women siya na din. So, kami, magta-try out kami. Tapos, yung mga lalaki na galing sa men's try out, sabi, grabe, isang mali ko lang. 
pinauwi na ako. So, parang, oh my God, bawal magkamali. <laughs> Tapos nagtitingin na, may, may teammates then were Jesse De Leon, sila, hmm. ate Gia Reyes. Titingin lang kami, kasi kami na yung next eh, after men's try out na kami. Hmm. We, we tried out for Coach Oji. So, oh my God, bawal magkamali, muwi na tayo. Magkakamali ako <laughs> sa loob. Ganon kami. <laughs> Tapos nung nandun na, um, Okay naman siya. Parang yun nga siguro may difference din talaga sa way niya ng paghandle ng women's and men's. But the thing is, he had this reputation na um, pag, kapag, parang yung, gag, yung galaw ng team ay dapat iisa lang. So, you really have to adjust and parang mag-ano sa system niya. Kasi it has been proven super effective for the men's for for the longest time, di ba? Lagi silang champion. So, hmm. Yeah, um, entering UST, sobrang taas talaga ng tingin namin kay Coach Oji. And, oh, I think, okay, okay na siya yung napili for uh, coaching the the women's team ngayon. Kasi, for me, it's very technical. And he also has the experience to back it up. It just so happened na, sorry, Coach, during our time, hindi namin nabigyan justice siguro yung coaching stint niya for the women's um for the women's team, pero there were a lot of factors. But to me, as a coach, he's really very good. Sometimes, I would cover the men's and the women's games. Pag kulang yung ma-anchor, double duty ako. So, minsan nagulat ako. Kasi, Coach Oji, 8 a.m. game. Tapos, 4 p.m. game, siya na naman. As in, Oo. like, buong araw, nasa San Juan Arena siya. Pero lugi kami ha, lugi kami kasi syempre, oy men, team umayos-ayos kayo kasi pag bad mood si coach, sinong nabubuk? Kami yung na ano, umayos talaga kayo. Pero ganun talaga palagi. Kaya para minsan naglulukan kami, anong anong resulta ng game? Kasi para doon naka-base syempre yung mood. I think kahit uh-huh. sinong coach naman. Pero, kami taga sa lo. Shock <laughs> absorption. <laughs> Okay, Mela, let's have a little bit of fun on the show. This is the first time we're going to do this. And, I mean, sumakto lang na ikaw. And then, di ba, the conversation is leading to this. Because, yun nga, we just talked about Coach Oji being the new Philippine women's national team. Let's, let's do, l- let's have the first ever volleyball DNA draft here on the show. We're going to do this just for fun, okay? Ang mangyayari dito is we're going to have Team Tunay versus Team Anton. Mm-hmm. We're going to flip a coin to find out who picks first. And we're going to pick okay. players turn by turn per position. Yung mm-hmm. starters lang. So that that's seven players. You know, the setter, the two open spikers, the two middle blockers, utility, and libero. But we can't have the same. No, like, we can't have the same. My so, God. So halimbawa, may pinili na akong player, hindi na pwede. Hindi mo na pwede pinili God. Na <laughs> ano, Mela, you ready for this? Oh my God. Baka okay. ma-discover ako ng NSA niyang gawin na akong coaching. <laughs> <laughs> guys, we're doing, ju- we're doing this just yeah. for fun, okay? You, you, you guys, you guys can type your lineups on the comment section below, okay? D- don't bash us because, you know, we're doing this, ju- we're doing just, this just don't for fun. Don't bash us. This disclaimer... We're not we're not part of the selection committee. We're we're just we're just fans here. Mel is a player. Yeah. We're doing this totally for fun. Mm-hmm. Okay. So yeah. eto, I don't know if you see that. Ayan, what yeah. is this? Is okay. this heads? Yeah. Is excited? Yep. Oh, heads. heads ako. Heads. Ka. Okay. Heads ka first pick ka. Okay. Oh, it on show it. <laughs> ano yan? Tails. Tails. Oh my God! So I get the first pick. My God. Woo! Okay. Okay. Uh, okay, so we had Mark Espejo on the show, and he had um, he, his comments made so many waves. Mela, sinabi niya, um, kasi we asked him to pick his his national team yeah. for for women. Tapos sinabi niya, bawal mo tanggalin si Jaja, mm-hmm. and gagawin ko siyang opposite. So I'm gonna take Mark Espejo's advice. My first pick, the first pick. For Team Anton in the volleyball DNA draft is Jaja Santiago, and I'm gonna make her opposite. That's my pick. <laughs> my God. <laughs> <laughs> let me know. Let me know when when you've when you've made up your mind. 
Sige, I'll take Majoy Baron as medal. Wow! So the first pick for Team Tunay is Majoy Baron. Okay. Okay. Dito sa award din na agad pero wala nang papatunay. <laughs> okay, okay. For my second pick, Team Anton selects Eliza Valdez. Okay. <laughs> Ako na. Yes. <laughs> second pick ko Kalimaw. Wow, okay, okay. <laughs> Woo! Okay, so it's Majoy and Kale for you, Jaja and Eliza for me. <laughs> Third pick for me. Oh man. Uh, <laughs> it gets harder, eh? <laughs> okay. Um man. You can't have Eliza without, you know, this person because of their chemistry. So I'm gonna go with Gia Morado for my third pick. Okay. So yeah, for my third pick, I'll take Maddie. I wanted Maddie. <laughs> I, I wanted. Because you know, mo, you know, mo si Gia. Eh, in real life, naman, kahit sang team sa sa team two na itaga si Kim Pahardo, kaya matik na siya. <laughs> Yeah, and, and I can't Maddie, pick. I, I can't pick him anymore. I can't. That 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 was very smart. Yeah. Well, so oh my god, I wanted Maddie and Majoy as my middle blockers actually. <laughs> oh my god. So that mean that means I have to get middle blockers now. Ang hirap nito. Oh so, my yeah, god. Atle na no? three picks. Yeah. Okay. Wait, kailangan ko ng kodigo. Kailangan ko lang ito. Uy, <laughs> bakit may line-up ko? Baka si Zuting may line-up sa Tumanto na. Pilipinas lang tayo, ha? Nakakaloka. Bakit may gano'n? <laughs> Ikinuha mo yung mga middle blockers na gusto okay. ko, eh. Anton, ibaba mo yan. Baka si Plumjit ang mabunot mo. Ibaba mo yan, Ton. <laughs> oh, my God. Middle blockers. Ay, nako. Alam mo. Victory dance. Ang hirap. Oy, you know what? Um, I, I really wanted the tall lineup sana. I really wanted the tall lineup. But you got the, the two middle blockers <laughs> I wanted. Uh, man. Shucks. You know what? Din, din. That's a good idea. You know what? I'm gonna take that suggestion because I I want I want height there. So I'm yeah. gonna go I'm gonna go Dindin. Yeah, Th- Dindin Santiago Manabat. Thank you for being being friendly and you know <laughs> suggesting that. Thank you. <laughs> Dindin. Oh, ang ganda, no? Dindin. The Santiago mm. sisters. Yeah, that's a good Ay, idea. Ako. Opposite, I'll take. <laughs> Ang hirap, no? Mas humihirap habang tumatagal. <laughs> Sige, opposite, I'll take Paat. Wow! Pa- Paat, I think, is very underrated. Yeah. Like, but she... But she nung, nung mm, ano. She, she puts up the numbers. Like, I feel like, personally, we'll have more plays when it's... Also, like, when it's, like, an all-around game, it would be, for me, ay, mga likes of Ate Jog, ganyan. Mm. Pero, yeah, I feel like there's a lot more potential that Paat can, you know, explore. Hindi mm. pa natin nakita lahat. Yeah. Nag-explain. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I, 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 I love that explanation. I love that. Yeah. Alam mo, ikaw madaya ka eh, Because I already know you're gonna get Kim at setter. Yeah. And I can't get her, so... <laughs> Saka kumuha ka na ng setter. Masahin ko na yung mga aagawin mo. Uh. Okay, uh... Man, because I, 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 I said I want a tall team and I also want intensity on the team. So I feel like, okay, I'm going to go with somebody that we, we haven't seen on the national team yet. Or, or, or has she played in the national team? So, so leagues that I over ko hindi pa kasi. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to go with Bea De Leon. Yeah. Ah uh, yeah, she played I guess in the Sea Games 2015. 
Ah, a while back. But she wasn't, I think, as yung kapik niya pa, hindi pa yata. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Tunin ko muna si Don Makandili. Baka maunahan mo pa. Okay, okay lang. Marami tayo libero. <laughs> okay, so you have you have Majoy, Kale, Madi, Paat, and Don. And I got Gia, Eliza, Dindin, BDL, and Jaja. Uh, another open spiker. What? I don't have a Lasallian yet? And I'm Lasallian. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with a, a, a sentimental pick. And uh, since I'm Lasallian, I have to have a Lasallian on the team. I'm gonna go with Aragalang. Wow. I'm gonna go with Aragalang. Baka ikaw uh, na yung magdilang anghel to, to, to get to the national team. Th- there's been clamor, right? That Diba? Ar- Aragalang to the national team. Like, like yeah. people always comment, like, where is Aragalang? Diba? From time to time. May, may mga ganon. Mm-hmm. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you need a setter and another Another. open spiker. See, so, um, so ob- obviously, mm-hmm. you're gonna go with the open spiker. <laughs> Molina, I think at the says Molina. Yeah. yeah, another ano for me, uh, another person. Um, you know, she's under a lot of pressure, but yeah. Like as people all, are always um critical of her performance, mm-hmm. but but she also puts up the numbers. Like yeah. f- from Pers- my perspective, ah. Huh? Personally, I think because <laughs> Nicola, because she they look for I mean, they have that People have the tendency to look for people na nag you up, I guess. Because it yeah, started yeah. when we were in Petron. Eh, na uh, uh, they wanted both CC and Pons uh, uh, uh. in the first six. But if you ask the whole team, like even CC and Pons, they would hmm. choose Addisess. But then I guess the pressure uh, and you know the the things that she get out from bashing it translates na kaya siya nag error because people call her like you know, error something error. Yeah, and, and guys, that's that's not good. That does not yeah. help. That does not help, guys. It affects the game. I mean, yeah. we could have seen more from her if we mm. just, you know, motivated and supported supported her. Because like us in our team before, even Coach Shaq and the rest of the team, like we back her up because we've seen her play. Mm. Mm. So yeah, even even the people that they want in the starting six are also rooting for Atisa. So. Mm. I don't know. Less bashing, guys. Yeah, and from my from my perspective, despite all of that, <clears throat> she still performed. Uh. I mean, uh, it, I I will say hindi siya nagpakain sa, sa criticism. I mean, Kasi hindi ko makaya yun eh yung yung ganong tatayu ka pa rin, despite yeah. everything na na mo yun na receive mo na. And and that's what I admire about. Athletes like you, Mela, na even though you know you're subject to criticism, you're always in the public eye, diba? You have to you have to muster up the courage and the strength to take all of that in, try to block it out, and just do what you have to do and play, diba? Because at the end of the day, you have you have to perform, diba? And yun yung isa sa mga dahilan kung bakit bilib na bilib ako sa inyo, and and I respect I respect you guys for for doing what you do. All right, back to the draft. Back to the draft. <laughs> Isa na lang. Libero for me. So, so you got done. Obviously, you know, we're on volleyball DNA here. And I, I, I think that, you know, for the past couple of years, she's been doing so many things. Diba? I mean, when, when she came back to the national team, she just got out of med school. So she yeah. wasn't like, like her UAAP yeah. self. But you know, I feel like if she focuses her attention and time to just volleyball, I think she can get back to mm-hmm. that level again. And uh, I'm gonna go with Den Den Lazaro. Obviously, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, um, why why are you gonna get? Okay, who's your setter? I mean, this is probably the I dumbest. Know, I, this is I'm the really... dumbest question. This is the dumbest question I'm asking. I'm really ever. having a hard time, Don. <laughs> Why did you take Gia, Ton? 
Hoy, honestly, it's hard for me, ah. Kasi, yeah, when, when you take Gia out of the... Sa akin kasi, triumvirate yan, eh. Gia, Kaf, and Aterea. Imagine yung struggle. Si Gia, teammate ko ng high school, sobrang galik. Si Aterea, teammate ko ng college and pro. Si Kim Jawa ko, si Kim Jawa ko, so paano, Anton? <laughs> so, sige. Pero ang hirap. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> Parang ang nasa spaceship habang pumipila. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Siguro magpapaalam muna. Okay mo, okay lang si Atreo. <laughs> <laughs> ang hirap kasi to, na-witness ko yung, di ba si Atreo became MVP nung... Yeah, yeah. No, Finals? PSL kami. Ah, no, PSL, yeah. Wild kasi, ang wild talaga nung ano niya. Tsaka magkaiba sila ng laro. Okay, I have my justification. Since my lineup, since my lineup is consisted mostly of the salt players, <laughs> I think the connection might be better if it's Kim. Pero it's, it might look like a dumb question to to many people, ah, but I'm very unbiased kasi when it comes to volleyball. So, it's really a tough choice between Atreya and Kim. But, sige, on that aspect na mostly Lasal, especially the middles. Mahirap kasi yung gamayan din kapag ano. Especially si Joy. So, mm. yeah. baka yung connection mas... Yun na yun, Ton! Yeah. Wow! <laughs> okay, let's, let, let, let's recap. Let's recap. Um, team Tunay, you have Kim Fajardo at Setter, Open Spikers, Kalemao, and Ses Molina. Middle blockers, and I, I really wanted th- these two. See, <laughs> Majoy and Maddie. Utility, you have Paat and Libero Don. So, Team Anton, it's Gia and Eliza. Aragalang. Din Din Santiago Manabat. Bea De Leon, Jaja Santiago. At opposite, taking the advice of Marcus Pell. <laughs> and then, then Lazaro Revilla at, at Libero. So, Team Tunay versus Team Anton, guys. Who, which team do you think is going to win? Again, we're doing this just for fun. Okay, we're not members of the NSA whatsoever. We have no say with regards to the pick. Katuahan lang to. Uh, let us know what you think. And for your lineups, put them down in the yeah. comment section below. So, Mela, thank you for partaking in the first ever Volleyball DNA Draft. That, yeah. was, that was fun. Ang hirap, ang hirap pala, no? Uh-oh. Imagine, you know, the people that, who are really there will have to do this when they're forming the team. We <laughs> <laughs> tayo for fun. lang, are toss coin, toss coin. Then we're already na for fun. And cheap, what, eh, toss coin. <laughs> diba? What more kung yun na talaga? Oh. Siguro mag-toss coin na lang din yung mga talagang mag- <laughs> Para ano, less pressure, guys. <laughs> Alright. Uh, okay, Mela, balik tayo sa... Um, usapan natin. Um, you also made headlines because um, you're the team captain now of one of the newest, if not the newest club team in the PVL. Um, kindly confirm the name because I saw two names online. There's Peak Form and UAC, Unlimited Athletics Club Power Hitters. Okay, so it's UAC, Unlimited Athletes Club. Athletes. And it's Lady Spikers. I think Lady power Spikers. hitters are PLDT. Okay, okay, okay. So Lady Spikers. So and it's then, an yeah. unlimited athletes club. Yeah. Lady Spikers. Hmm, lakas makasamgyupsal, di ba? Unlimited. Three nine nine. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but it's UAC Lady Spikers. All right. And How then, did this then, uh, development hmm. come to be? Initially, we were called Peak Form. Uh-huh. But then, um, peak form kasi, is, for those of you who don't know, it's a rehab facility uh, for, for treatments, PT sessions, and all that. So, initially, they were our you know sponsors. But then, they wanted to support more teams. So, now, it's UAC Lady Spikers powered by peak form. Because there are other teams that will also help out. Like, I think, Balipure, Army, ganyan. And I think they, they are working on a project. Um, na magtatayo sila ng rehab center na branch near San Juan or in San Juan, San Juan Arena, na free yung mga players doon. I'm not sure if uh, nagmaterialize na ba siya or has it started, but I think 
may ganong plan na free lahat. So I think it won't look good if they just you know if if one team just carries their name. So ang nangyari, um we we turned into a club. Um so to give you guys an idea, it's more like the UVC before. So because right now we don't have like a brand or a corporate sponsor. This is just yeah. from a person who personally wanted to help us out because our team came from you know the players came from the teams that have been disbanded because of the pandemic. So he wanted to give us jobs. He made a team. Kaya ngayon club kami. But then, if mga mga sponsors dyan, baka magpalit na naman tayo ng pangalan. <laughs> Pasok mga sponsors! <laughs> no, because honestly, it's super, you know, it's super hard. Like, in a marketing perspective, it's super hard to get a sponsor. Right now, because it's a pandemic, the, the league kept on moving. So, hmm. the assurance, you know. So, hats off also to those teams who were able to sustain and are still sustaining their own, you know, club teams. It's hard. <laughs> Okay, I was I was looking at um, the players on this lineup, and uh, sinabi mo nga, um, these these this is a collection of players from teams that got disbanded, and I'm happy na you know they found a new home. Because you know nowadays it, it's hard to find a job, it's it's hard to find consistent work, and mm-hmm. our, we're all trying to you know in a way survive. What what are your expectations? Um, in the upcoming PVL Bubble Mela uh, with, with your new club team? Mm-hmm. Well, at first, um, I really didn't want to, you know, set my expectations that high because looking at our lineup, we are young. Um, what else? We don't have, like, stars as compared to the other teams. Talaga. But when I came to work with them since Feb so ilang months pa lang mm. nakakatuwa kasi like everyone are really so passionate um, everyone exerts extra effort and then the coaches are also very happy and kasi sa amin very hands on ngayon because even our coaches don't know the rest of the players like Shepard si coach Edgar Baroga, he was able to coach man in the UAP, hindi niya naabutan yung mga younger players and all. So hindi niya alam paano yung kilos. So he really got super hands-on sa amin. He wanted to see how we move kahit online lang. Um uh, talagang kino-correct niya. And then syempre for two months ganung ginagawa namin. When we got into face-to-face training a couple of weeks back before the ECQ, Ang ganda ng galaw, nagulat din ako talaga. Um, I mean, although we are training in batches because, you know, Gab strictly implemented the the five-man um, uh, per batch na protocol. Mm. Pero like, yung galaw, um, it wasn't was what I was initially expecting. So I guess, um, hats off also to our coaches, conditioning coaches, and of course, our head coach for really, you know, taking time to train us online. Mm-mm. Kasi nag-pay off siya. I feel like, to me, ah, nag-pay off talaga siya. So, siguro, come PVL bubble, um, I'm not expecting to win games agad. Of course, we're new. We're not as, you know, as gelled as the other teams who've been playing together for years. We don't have national players in our team, like how Petrogas acquired a couple of national team players and all that. So, we're not a superstar lineup and we're not expecting to beat those superstar lineups. But, Shepard, pag mananalo. Wow, thank you, Lord. Pero, uh, alam mo yan, I just expect it to be not as easy as others might think na, mm. oh, UA- UAC lang yan. Yan yung mm. parang ayoko mangyari. So, mm. we're really working hard right now to, alam mo yun, be at par kahit pa pari sa liga na makasabay kami kahit bago. So, yeah. Alright. You, you know, it's, I can only imagine, like, if you're a professional athlete, tapos yung way lang para maging in shape kayo is online, di ba? So, so mga hirap nun. Like, you have to dig deep to find self-motivation, yes. di ba? Whew. So, I mean, for, for my last question, Mela, um, for my last question, ayun nga, every, all the training is is online and then if it, you ever, if ever you get back on the court, it's, it's just five yeah. And, and kulang pa yon for, for mm-hmm. volleyball. So I, w- I want to ask you, Mela, 
kasi ang pangalan ng team mo, United Athletes Club Lady Spikers powered by Peak Form. So, nasa Peak Form na ba si Carmela Tunay? Anong tunay? Ay, taray. Pwede mo maging co-host si Ano. <laughs> nasa Peak Form na ba ako? Of course, wala pa. Kasi, you know... <laughs> Ang hirap kaya. Tapos especially when you're nursing, you know, kahit mga minor injuries lang. Kasi ako, um, meron ako sa shoulder eh, But it's not as serious naman. But then, you know, having PT sessions na online, it's very hard din. Apart from the online trainings, PT sessions on the other hand na online are very hard. So I wouldn't say na nasa peak form na ako. But I would say, I think I'm in shape, basing it from our la- la- last face-to-face training. Um, yung hesitation ka talaga is my shoulder. Pero like, um, what do you call this? Endurance, I think, the other aspects. Or siguro adrenaline lang yun sa sobrang tagal namin di nag-core training. Tapos nung mm-hmm. nag-core kami for, I don't know, two weeks. Mm-hmm. Parang ang kaan. So... Semi peak form, okay na ba? <laughs> Semi peak form, can you take that? Semi lang. <laughs> well, Mela, I- I'm I'm sure, like uh, you know, all-, all of you are dealing with this situation, yeah. but the passion and your love for the game, I think that's what's going to help you get back in the groove. But um, as of the moment, Mela, I'm just so proud and and uh, I'm happy for you, be- being your friend and somebody that I've worked with. With everything that you've accomplished, especially uh, with your master's degree, so thank you so much, Mela. Congratulations, and I'm looking to forward to seeing you in action in the upcoming thank PVL you. Bubble. Thank you, thank you, Ton, also for finally having me on volleyball DNA. It was such a good time catching up with you and talking about all things volleyball. So thank you. Yep, and do catch Mela on her YouTube channel, Anong Tunay. Uh, because you know, in Anong Tuna, it's it's a different level. Ibang, <laughs> ibang level yung uh, yung inet na mga volleyball topics don. But uh, yeah, thank you so much, Mela, for the thank support, you. and uh, I'll see you soon, guys. Yes. What an honor, Mela Tunay on volleyball DNA. Thank you for watching volleyball DNA. Make sure you hit the subscribe button to get notified for future episodes and interview highlights. And while you're at it, head over to our Facebook page by clicking on the link in the description.